Yo, what is up YouTube? Back with another video. And today, I'm ranking the top 10 quarterbacks currently in the NFL. So, I'm really doing this list off of, you know, the current NFL. Obviously, I've been taking, like, past experiences, past championships, Super Bowls in consideration for my top 10. Because that does play a big role in, you know, a quarterback itself. And it shows you how good they are as a player. And just because they have one bad season doesn't mean they're not horrible. They've won a Super Bowl. You know, they're consistently good. They deserve to be on the top 10. So I've really taken like a list of things and I'm going to label them for each player and I'll put it on the screen. That list contains seasons played, total games played, overall record, best season, meaning like their best record they've ever had in a season, their worst record they've had in a season. Uh, the most passing yards they've had in the season, the most touchdowns they've had in the season, their total career touchdowns, and obviously I'm taking in consideration of how many seasons they played with that. Also, total passing yards in career, passing yards per game, their total interceptions, their completion percentage, and yeah, so that's it. So I'm not going to read every freaking thing out loud, but at the same time, I'll put it on your screen so you can see all of their QB stats. So number 10, and this is probably the hardest pick I had on this list. I could think of many really good, uh, you know, quarterbacks in the NFL, like Matt Ryan, Jimmy Garoppolo, but I did not want to add them to my list. So at number 10, I do have Josh Allen, and this was a very close one with Matt Stafford, but I think Matt Stafford's the better QB probably going to have a better career but at this point in time Matt Stafford has not carried his team to the playoffs in a while he's had the talent a couple times but he's been injured and that's a big role in the top 10 but yes I have Josh Allen you can see all these stats on the screen they're pretty cool uh, so he was drafted two years ago in 2018 along with Lamar Jackson Baker Mayfield I think he was the second best quarterback in that draft. Um, he's, you know, he's made a playoff game second season as a starter. He started all 16 games, a notable thing. He threw nine interceptions in 2019 and he played all 16 games. He also had 20 touchdowns in 2019, 3,089 yards, passing yards. So as you can see all these things on the screen, you can read all of that, but I'm listing out the obvious, the things you want to know. Along with passing yards, touchdowns, I think that passing yards per game is probably one of the most notable stats. Um, I'm not saying his is good, I'm just saying like, as a QB, I think passing yards per game is definitely one of the highlights of their career, but his is at 149.4. And his total interceptions 21 and completion percentage, which is pretty low compared to the rest on this list, 56.3. The reason why I have him on this list is because this dude can run the ball. He can tank. He's got a killer of an arm. He can throw freaking 70 yards, fastest throwing football in the league. And he carried a Bill squad to the playoffs. They could be a Super Bowl contender this year. We'll see. But at number nine, I have a QB that debatably could be higher. I have Deshaun Watson, who's been in the league for three years, and he's had a pretty good career so far, having, I guess you can say, a pretty good career in the way that he's never had a losing season. Uh, he went 11-5 in 2018. His worst season was 10-5, besides that 3-3 three three season, his rookie season, where he got injured. The passing yards per season is pretty good. His most passing yards is around 4,165. And he has 26 touchdowns in 2018 2019. Um, passing yards per game is also pretty good at 255.68. And his completion percentage, 66.8. So this dude, if you've never watched the song Watson, I have him on my list because he can run the ball. He's fast. He's like Lamar Jackson, but a little slower. He, he makes really great plays. He avoids sacks. He has great awareness. And honestly, you saw that touchdown he had when the Raiders defender kicked him in the eye and he still made the pass. That's why he's on the top 10. So debatable one, but at number eight, I have Carson Wentz. So Carson Wentz 
could not be on this list depending on if you think that the injuries matter. But definitely Carson Wentz is one of the most talented players in the league as a QB, of course. He was drafted in 2016. He had that MVP season in 2017 where he went 11-2 and as a starter, but then got injured against the Rams. So this dude was an MVP candidate, definitely the front runner for the race, but he got injured. Carson Wentz basically led this team to the Super Bowl besides, you know, Nick Foles carrying them actually. But this dude's a beast. He had 33 touchdowns in 2017 and 13 games played too. So that number could have been around 40 if he played all 16. Uh, he's 253 passing yards per game. His completion percentage is 63.8. Carson Wentz, have you ever seen him play? Uh, his second season where he went 11-2 2017 was his best season so far. He avoided every sack. This dude made incredible passes, it's not even funny. And that's why I have him at number eight on my list. So number seven on my list, I have Aaron Rodgers, who's had a really great career as a QB. Drafted in 2005, he's had a pretty good overall record. Something about Aaron Rodgers, obviously he's a legendary QB, but when you think of like every category a quarterback could lead a stat in, at one point in his career, Aaron Rodgers has completed that task, maybe besides passing yards. But in 2011, his best season, in my opinion, he had 4,643 passing yards and 45 touchdowns. Pretty good. He averages 260 passing yards per game, has a completion percentage of 64.6, has won a Super Bowl, and has only had three losing records as a starter. And this dude is incredible in the way that he doesn't throw interceptions. Um, in 2018 to 2019, he played all 16 games and only threw two interceptions the entire season. Two in a season, like, that's incredible. I've seen Ben Rosberger throw five against the Jaguars. Like, what? It's a pretty good stat right there. Well, speaking of Big Ben, at number six, of course we have the legendary QB for the Pittsburgh Steelers, who was drafted in 2004. Overall record, uh, first thing I notice is that his overall record is a winning overall record. He has doubled the amount of wins and losses, and that is a notable stat right there because Ben Rosberger has never led the Steelers to a losing season. The Steelers have been a winning team since he was drafted, which is a pretty good stat right there. Big Ben surprisingly never made a first all-team pro, even though he's won two Super Bowls, a six-time pro bowler. Um, ben Rosberger's notable stats, 51, 29 passing yards in 2018, and his most touchdowns were 34 in 2018. That was a pretty good season for him. Just like Aaron Rodgers, they averaged the same passing yards per game, 260, completion percentage, 64.3. Definitely one of the worst aspects of his game is that he threw 191 career interceptions, pretty bad. Compared to Aaron Rodgers, who only threw 84, and they've been in the league basically the same amount of time. And you already know that Ben Rosberger's had that undefeated 13-0 rookie season. His worst season as a starter was 7-8. Steelers still finished 8-8, eight eight, but still pretty good stats right there. So number five, another legendary QB, debatably worse than Ben and Aaron Rodgers. I have Drew Brees, but I have him at number five because this dude... Is a stat monster. So he was drafted in 2001. He's been playing in the league for 19 years. Um, he's had he knows up and downs as a starter. He's obviously had his bad seasons as a Charger, but I'm putting that in the past. That was a long time ago. But his worst record as a Saints starter was in 2016, 7-9 record. But he's had 54, 76 passing yards in 2011, and 46 touchdowns. Wow, that is, that is pretty good right there. And he's led the league. He leads the league in total touchdown passes in NFL history with 547 currently. And he also leads the league in passing yards, 77,416. This dude has had a legendary career, which is why I think he's number five on my list. He's had a really good QBR in 2018 with 80.4. And yeah, so this dude's a beast. I believe Drew Brees, Hall of Famer easily. So number four on my list, definitely a Hall of Fame QB already, 
and he's been in the league for a lot less time than Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and Ben Roethlisberger, but at the same time has put up better numbers debatably than all of them. I have Russell Wilson at number four, who was drafted in 2012, and just like Ben Roethlisberger, has double the amount of wins than losses. His best season, 13-3 in 2013, and his worst season as a starter, 9-7. and seven. A winning record. Wow, just look at that side right there. Right there, that's incredible. This dude's never had a losing season, has had a really good career with the Seahawks, has won one Super Bowl. Um, he has 42, his best you know, career passing yards. It was in 2016, had 4,219 passing yards. And he also had 34 touchdowns in 2017. Not better than Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees, but at the same time, this dude is persistently good. You watch him on the field, this dude's a monster. He's a very smart QB. Just like Aaron Rodgers, he threw only five interceptions in 2019, and he has never, ever missed a game in his career. Never. Started all 16 games that he's ever played in. The uh, passing yards per game is a little bit lower than Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Big Ben. Uh, it's 232.2. And total interceptions in his career is 68, so that's pretty good. Forgot to mention, but Drew Brees, his passing yards per game is 281. So that's right there. Notable stats. Probably the best on this list. Oh, wait, we'll see in the future. But number three, I have Lamar Jackson. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a Steelers fan, and I do not like Lamar Jackson. And before I looked up all the stats, I had Lamar, like number eight on my list. But I looked at his stats, and this dude's actually a monster. And I think he's the third best QB in the NFL, debatably the second best. And that's coming from a Steelers fan that doesn't like him. But still, Lamar Jackson, number three, this dude's a monster. So he's played in only 22 games, but he's lost three of them. 19 and three career record. Off the bat's pretty good. His best season was this year, where the Ravens went 14-2 and, and he went 13-2. and two. Obviously would have won that last game that he played. His worst season, I can't even think of one, because there isn't one. There isn't a worse season than 13-2, and 14-2. Come on now. Um, The most passing yards he's had, it's not like the best best, but it's 3,127. But at the same time, this dude's a rushing yard monster. With 1,206 rushing yards as a quarterback, breaking the record in a season with the most rushing yards by a QB ever. Just right there, that's incredible. His most touchdowns, passing touchdowns, was last year we had 36. Right there, that's off the bat pretty decent for a running back. He's had 4,328 career yards and 1,901 career rushing yards. His passing yards per game is 196. Rushing yards per game is 86.4. Right there is pretty good. And this dude only threw six interceptions in 2019. And he won the NFL MVP. So right there, pretty good stats for a running back, who I think is number three in the league. And number two, another quarterback that nobody likes. But of course, we have Tom Brady. So I'm definitely not judging Tom Brady off of his last season, which wasn't his best. But look at this dude's career. Look at everything he's accomplished for his age. He's definitely number two in the NFL as a QB. Talk about an overall record. This dude's overall record, winning record, is phenomenal. With 219 wins and 64 losses. That's almost three and a half times more wins than losses in his career. That's, oh my gosh, that's pretty good, not gonna lie. His best season ever. As many of you know, Tom Brady went undefeated 16-0 and in 2007, but lost the Super Bowl. What a sour ending. And they lost to Eli Manning's Giants. But his worst record, 9-7 in 2002, his third career, his third season as a starter. 9-7, and his third season. But that's his worst record ever. That is pretty good. His most passing yards in a season was in 2007. Everything was 2007 for him, where he had 4,806 passing yards and 50 touchdown passes in 2007. Career total touchdowns, he's in a race with Drew Brees. He's 541. 
and 70, 74,571 passing yards, but that's still 3,000 less than Drew Brees, and only one year difference in career. His passing yards per game is 261.65, that's pretty decent. Total interceptions for 20 years as a starter, 179 off the bat. Look at that stat, it's pretty good. Obviously, he's a six-time Super Bowl champion. He's cheated a lot, but probably the GOAT. And that's all I got to say as the number one Tom Brady hater in the world. But is he the GOAT? You'll find out in the next video. Because at number one, I have Patrick Mahomes. As you may know, Patrick Mahomes is definitely, debatably, off the bat, one of the best QBs in NFL history. And it's only his third season. I'm not even joking. You ask anybody, probably will be the best QB ever. Probably outranked Tom Brady. And that's definitely saying a lot. So he was drafted in 2017, only played one game in 2017, the last game of the Chiefs season, because, you know, Alex Smith was still the starter. But in 2018, this dude went 12-4. 2019, he went 12-4 and four also. And he hasn't had a bad season at all. 12-4 is his worst record as a starter. And this dude's stats are incredible. In 2018, he had 5,097 passing yards. And that was his first, you know, season as a starter ever. That's pretty good. But incredible start in 2018. He's 50 touchdown passes. So he was injured a little bit in 2019. And you already know they won the Super Bowl. And Mahomes should have won the Super Bowl in 2018. Kind of got, you know, cheated by the Patriots in the AFC Championship game. Go figure. But I think Mahomes is going to be the GOAT. And the best stat on this list, the entire, the entire 10, top 10 list, he averages over 300 passing yards per game. So this dude's on his way to greatness. I think Mahomes, with the great offense, will probably break Drew Brees' records when he retires. Mahomes probably could win more Super Bowls than Tom Brady, and that's saying a lot. So what do you think? Do you think I left out any top 10 players? Obviously, I left out Jimmy Garoppolo, Matt Stafford. Um, I don't think Dak Prescott's top 10. I think he's trash, actually. Baker Mayfield's trash. You know, Kyler Murray could be top 10 in the future. Jared Goff lost his Super Bowl, so he's not top 10. Besides that, come on now. So what do you think? Top 10 or top 10 bust? Thanks for watching. Adios.